Good morning, Modern Standards. Yesterday we did the framing for our root cellar, but this is going to be more than just a root cellar. We use 2x6 construction because we're going to insulate it with R19 insulation and then foam board on the outside. One of the things I've always thought about is why do refrigerators need to run all year round, especially here in a northern climate like we have? Why don't we have refrigerators that get their cool air in the wintertime from the outside? We need to get it insulated right now. You know my favorite part. Oh, I hate fiberglass insulation, but we have a bunch left over from when we built and insulated the house, so we're gonna use it. A lot of you modern students were concerned last time when I was insulating. I didn't have a mask on. Well, I can't really narrate the video with a mask on, but today we're gonna be doing a lot more than just fiberglass insulation. So I'm going to put a mask on, we'll do a little videoing while we're doing the fiberglass, and then we'll have a lot more coming at you. Let me get this on. Can you hear me now? The audio probably don't sound that good. Now, it's all insulated. The first step anyways. I got to thinking, that might not be sealed the way I want it to be sealed for what our future uses are gonna be. So I got one more step I'm gonna do for insulating.
I figure everything correctly, this should be about an R26 and a half. No, R25 and a half. That'll hold it in place until we get the plywood on top of it. Nice. This could prove interesting. Tight quarters, and we gotta try to get the piece up on the ceiling. Hey, give me the nail gun. Yeah. Alright, just hold it like that for a minute. Let me get this lined up. With that. Oh, you don't have it. I do have it. Push it anymore. Yeah, perfect. Alright, hold that for a minute. Tell you what, this tests your patience right here.
wanted to make sure we had our plywood secured nicely before we filled the cracks with great stuff. I cut my last strip to fill the edge here. But before I do that, I wanna do something with the window. But I figured I better cut it up before it gets thrown away. It was our last strip we had left. This is the inside. I can nail the ceiling a little bit more in the walls. Trim out the door, gotta build the door. Same with the outside, it's got the one inch foam covered in sheathing. That's where we're gonna have to end today's video. We ran out of time. We're gonna finish up with trimming it out next time, I think. We're gonna do some more figuring on how we're gonna finish it off inside, but we got the big main structure done, which is awesome. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it. It really helps our channel grow. Wanted to thank all the modern steaders for that. If you want your chance to win an automatic chicken plucker, when we hit 20,000 subscribers, we're gonna be giving one of those away. I'll put a link here and in the description down below so you can learn how to enter to win that giveaway. We'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.